Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgon 111, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2, where I am a disattuned. Uh, what's my class? Ronan. <laughs> it's my favorite class, how could I forget this name? And I've got a freezing spell, and I've got grotesque talent, and if we can build up a bit of health, this could be potentially a boss killer character. So I'm going to start in the Stygian study. Just to kind of warm up. Also to try to find the study room that has like the two potential relic or upgrade rooms. And then we'll just kind of take things from there, I think. Okay, so am I one hitting guys in here? It appears the answer is yes. That's great. Uh, we'll leave those things in the ground in case I need them later. Um, but it doesn't appear that I'm going to need them later. <laughs> All right. I have 100 defense? That's insane. Um, I think there might be like a max armor cap, but I keep forgetting to research and understand all the details of it. So I'm not sure exactly. All right, you were some kind of commander, but I too shot you, so it wasn't a big deal. Here is the room I wanted to find, terrific. And here's exactly what I wanted to find in it. Also terrific. Okay, so max health is already up. And in here, poison's pretty good. Yeah, let's take some poison. All right, and from here, there's like a gazillion ways we can go. I choose up arbitrarily, and look at this. It's another apple, okay. I think with that, we do have to exit back into the castle and start in an earlier zone to make sure we get our health back up. Uh, but this hero's already off to a great start. If I could find like two more of those or one of the relics that can also increase my max health, then this character could really make a run. I think regardless, I probably will try to make this a money run as well. Uh, which is to say, I'm going to try to get tons of money, so even if we do lose to the boss, if we do manage to fight the boss again at the end, um, we will be able to buy a ton of upgrades and be even better shape for next time. Um, so I may end up editing out some things, but for now, since I'm still on low health, let's stay together and see, ouch, how I do in the castle. <laughs> he says, immediately taking damage from an enemy in the castle. Citadel Agartha, the easiest zone. Uh, I'm just glancing around for any possible secrets, but I see none. Hopefully you see none as well. And it's not the case that I missed something that was right in front of my eyes. Wow. All right, well, Retaliation Rune did what it's supposed to do, I suppose. And I didn't see how much damage I took. If it was a small enough number, it might have been worth it just to, like, take the damage to die. Uh, to kill off, like, the, the uh, pupil over there. Which is kind of ironic. Um, hello, furniture. I would like you to become undone. Uh, it could be something to the left. Let's check it out. It's enemies! Who fire at me? Who could have foreseen such a thing? All right, once again, glancing around the room, looking for cracks in the walls, seeing none. It's time to move along. Let's try going this way. There is one other room that could hold the secret that I have not seen a secret in myself, uh, but I saw, you know, hmm. Blessing a talent needs more resolve, so I'm gonna take it. I don't love this talent, but maybe we'll find another one. Um, and it's not bad. I just don't love it. Kotescu is pretty great. But having more resolve and being able to pick up more relics is also pretty great. Um, what was I starting to say? I feel like I was saying something of import. Hmm, I think it's gone from me now. So, we'll never know. Hey, I found the boss room! Money for me! Hooray! An interesting question, which I will have to think about, 
is, okay, I'm back up to maximum health, so the correct thing to do now is to go back to a more difficult zone. Um, if I do end up with like 40,000 gold and then somehow end up also discovering the you can choose to die, die right now for a 35% gold bonus. Um, I might end up taking that because that would be like the best possible gold per second outcome I could ever have. Um, and since I do plan to probably play through at least like a full new game plus, like I will still want tons of money for various upgrades that I'm going to need in the future. And so it feels like the efficiency of that would kind of outweigh other considerations I might have. So that's just like a heads up in case in case we happen to be in that situation. I think it's unlikely. But just to let you know that I've already kind of thought about such a contingency. And yep, I'm that greedy. I'm gonna go after the coins that fall out of those chandeliers. And then I'm gonna wait patiently for these things to go by, even though with my disattunement, it could be the case that I could have dodged uh, right through. Oh boy, there's a lot of enemies here all of a sudden. Uh, let's be careful, ideally. Uh, a little bit more careful than that, ideally. All right, that was good. Okay, that was good too. Also pretty good. Okay, things are getting better. It's gonna be just fine. Oh! <laughs> it's gonna be just fine, he says, and immediately takes damage. Brilliant. Alright, um, there was one piece of furniture there that I'm leaving behind, but somehow I'll get over it. Um, you can hit me, perhaps, so let's do this. And then this. And finally, that. There we go. Okay, um, let's see. Other big picture stuff? I don't know that there is a lot. It would be good if I could get a little bit more familiar with this attunement and get a good feel for exactly where my hitbox is. I know it's small, and as a result, there'll be a number of places that I could stand that normally would not be safe. Uh, but given the fact that my hitbox is only the size of my heart, actually will be safe. Um but I don't know how much I can intentionally take advantage of that, just because I'm not sure exactly where the boundaries are. But it would be good, ouch, if I could somehow learn it. Um, but yeah, learning it kind of involves either taking damage to learn where it's not, or taking the risk of uh, taking damage, and so... I mean, I guess I could just try to go by looks, but... I don't have a great feel for that. I'm not always good at seeing such fine details. Let's see. Um, because we're going for money, and also we can heal some health off of these guys, I think we might as well do this. Man, I'm just short of being able to one-shot these guys. Uh, so yeah, my retaliation rune finished that guy off, for example. All right. Got some money there anyway. And from here, it is the case that there's more rooms nearby, so I don't need to take the teleporter. Still haven't figured out that uh, use your will clue for the other bridge on the eastern side. And are there other insights that I have not done? Ooh, I don't have Kotescu anymore. So I'm not sure what to do, but we'll just give it a try. Spin kicks, probably. And also, that might be good. Eh, didn't do as much as I was hoping. Yeah, still kind of made a mess of that. I'm still not sure how to do that um, with any particular character. Um, this is a dead end. I don't need to be here right now. There is another um, fairy chest room that I have failed at even when I've had good skills and I saw someone do without any skills. Uh, if we come across that one, I'll call it out. It'll be hard to describe while I'm playing the game, I think. But yeah, other than a couple of minor things like that, 
Uh, despite the fact that I've been watching a few other people play this game, it's still the case that I've been relatively spoiler-free. There have just been a few minor things that I've learned through watching others. Um, where am I? I'm here. Okay, it's very hard to see myself against this background. Okay, well, apparently I'm right there. <laughs> um, oh boy. Yeah, hard to see myself. I guess I should probably use my weapon more often to make it a little bit more visible. Um, let's see. I'm gonna choose to do that and just dodge those guys. Okay, next round. Oh boy. Um, dodge. Here's the Doombus. Did we get everybody? Is there somebody here? Ah, uh, here comes the next dude. Alright, Partisan Maiden. You need to go down because you're like a heavy hitter, whatever. Uh, but these guys are shooting at me too, and so also need to be dealt with. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad, despite the inherent challenges. And as a result, we get another Empathy for Plated Rose. Alright, so that'll serve us well in the future. We also picked up some money and resources. All good things. Um, I will be sufficiently greedy. Let's check the furniture down here, as there is a fair amount of it. And so there's a good chance that we could find a bag of money. Or a chicken leg. I think I did leave some books, but I'm going to go ahead and look at it, since I've already exited the room. Alright. Javelin Maiden, that one I managed to one-shot. And successfully jumped over those guys. So yeah. That's a place where I think with a normal hitbox I would have taken damage from the second of the blades. Uh, but given my tiny hitbox, I did manage to avoid the damage. And so in a sense, it just lets me kind of play a little bit riskier and kind of skirt the edges of what would normally be kind of dangerous place to be. Yeah, possibly the same thing just happened there as well. Okay, no coin there to go after. Let's go ahead and just finish you off. And... I guess there could be something down here. Is there any secret cracks in these walls? I don't see any. Looks like it'd be a good place to hide a secret, though. You're a mimic. I see you looking all mimicky. And you I won't be able to reach through this wall, so I'm just gonna have to come after you. Alright, it's done. Not sure why I decided to walk directly into that spiky ball. It was not the best choice I've ever made in the history of Rogue Legacy. Yeah, but these things happen. Alright. Easy, easy, also easy. And there is one more room up here that I haven't been to. So let's deal with the Mimic. His coins will stay up on the platform, so I can just stand below and not have to worry about things. And here's the aforementioned one room that we missed off the map earlier. And you're dead, and you're dead, and I went face first into some spikes, that's why not. Okay, but we're getting a lot of coverage of the various rooms of this place. Uh, Blaze Fellow, hmm. I don't like this spell. However, I do like Blessings of Wisdom, and maybe we'll find another spell, so I'm going to take it and hope that we'll get a chance to replace it again. I could have re-rolled. Would have been a possibility as well. But I feel like if I am going to try to, like, full clear the entirety of the map, it's likely that we'll find another spell option. And Axis Mundi, for whatever reason, seems to often have uh, spell options. I'm just going to go through here, even though I didn't clear the bottom of that room. Yet. I might be back. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's any things. It's probably just confirmation bias as opposed to any inherent uh, probabilities that makes one area more likely than another to have certain resources. Um, but I don't actually know. Alright. But we will exercise an appropriate amount of avarice in rooms, taking risks to get monies. Because that's what we do. Go after the monies. All the monies. 
Except for those monies. The green monies, they're not good monies. Don't go after them. Alright, uh, this room does have a lot of furniture. It's tiresome to break it all, so I'm not going to break it all, but I will break a little bit more on my way out, probably. Um, okay, that was not the smartest thing I've ever done. And this crazy East Bridge that I still don't know how to use my will to somehow make a bridge appear or something. Um, yeah, we tried spells, we tried everything. Someday I'll figure that out. Today is not that day. Alright, I did manage to kill those guys. So that's nice. They didn't drop any money, so that was not as nice. Uh, there's a pizza, though. That's nice. Um, there's no other exits over here. Let's take a look at the map. I can just go left, left, and then down. And that's an acceptable amount of walking transport in order to get to a new room. And here we are. Alright, you are dead. You are also dead. I'm not sure why I'm informing the enemies that they're dead. A, once they're dead, they won't be able to hear it anyway. B, I forgot what B was going to be. Are you going to leave me any money? You're not. Boo! And I'm just double checking for cracks before I exit the room. Speaking of cracks. Hello. I wonder if there might be mimics up here. Hmm. Hey look, it's mimics. And this time they do drop coins. Hooray. Well deserved coins for me. Already at 7,000 money. And we basically have only been in one zone so far. So things are looking up in terms of potential final money count for this run, so far as I can tell. Uh, yikes! Okay, you were gonna... Oh! Once again, disattuned. I think a normal character hitbox. I would have been hit by the flames there. But this character... No problem. Alright, what do we got here? Lots of monies! We're up to 8,800. And now we look at the map again and decide... There's like one or two rooms still that I haven't been in, but I feel like that's probably good. So let's be happy with the job we did there. And I'm in the mood to do Axis Monday next. And so that's where I'm going to go. Let's see if we can swap out our spell again. Let's see if we can find another apple of gaining more maximum HP. And I'm going to leave the furniture here just in case I need it at some point in the future since I'm already at maximum health. Feels like a good strategy. Now we can pick up the furniture at any time, since it's easy to teleport back there. And I think I will wait vaguely patiently, so that I can hit these guys before going into the Nightmare Realm. That seems good. Um, I was hoping to hit the guy with my katana. Also, these things bothering me. Quit flying around me, guy. Why you gotta be so homing? I mean, I have multiple ways, now that I think about it, that I could've gotten rid of them. For example, I could've done that, which destroys medium-sized projectiles. But for whatever reason, I didn't think about it in the moment. I want to try to hit you with the door if I can. You've got, like, a fury thing going on. And now you're backing off into an inconvenient spot, so I guess I'll just go in and just lay on the damage and take advantage of the fact that I'm disattuned. So that, uh... Oh, interesting! These arrows would normally go off. I think due to my tiny hitbox, the size of my hitbox affects the size of the arrow detection range. I think is what I just witnessed there. That's interesting. I can definitely stand below these guys. I think I would have been able to do it even with the normal size hitbox. But there will be some examples like that where I'll be able to kind of like dodge under fireballs that normally I wouldn't be dodging. Got a super crit there. Not that it really matters. I think a normal crit would have been plenty of damage to finish that guy off. I don't need to pick any of this stuff up. So we'll leave it on the ground there just in case all of a sudden I do something ridiculous that makes me desperate for health. Not that I would ever do such a thing. 
Hello, chicken leg. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. I killed three guys with one swipe of the katana right there. I'm pretty pleased by that. There's some random ore. And there's a chest up here it's annoying to get. I mean, I guess I could probably just tank some damage from the nightmare. I just kind of particularly don't enjoy that one. So I'm going to leave that one behind for reasons. Okay, what do we have here? Spin kick steal more damage. Or Grey Bell. Grey Bell's pretty good. It's just a chance, but if we're planning on fighting the boss at the end of this one, that could be great. And also it's a unique uh, relic. And so if we do end up picking up the war drum, uh, that could be like a ton of extra bonus damage jakes. All right, I think I was running out of double jumps and things there, so that was probably, in theory, a smart thing to do in practice. I'm in kind of no danger of dying in the zone, and so if I had taken damage from that enemy, it wouldn't have been a big deal either way. Alright, actually avoided taking damage from the Skeleton Ranger, whatever his name is. Oh, that thing hit the ground, I didn't anticipate that. Also, I don't need to go that way, there's nothing there. Alright, very good. Cutting through all these enemies, I see a fairy chest coming up. We'll go ahead and get the normal chest first. And then we'll go after the fairy chest. Which I guess is right up here. What do we got? The answer may surprise you. Uh, this is a hidden fairy chest through the wall. I see the crack in the wall. Is this a dwarf house room? Uh, no, it's just a hidden fairy chest. Alright, red ether for me. Terrific. Alrighty. What do we got next? Uh, some things to apparently just jump right into. Um, this is safe to stand upon, so I will do so. You I can kill before you get a chance to get a shot off. Same with you. Uh, don't really have an explanation for how I took damage there, other than being a dummy. These things happen. Occasionally. Hopefully not that frequently. And from here, I am basically at maximum health. Um, we can always teleport back to the sun's sun place or whatever, so I'm just going to continue through Axis Monday and see if we can get lucky and find the room that I want to find. It's possible that this will be it. What do you say? You got an apple for me? Ah, hmm. Dashing creates a wave. Hmm. Does mean I can dash through projectiles. It brings my resolve down a fair bit, though. This would deal 1% bonus magic damage. That's not super great either. Let's re-roll and see if we can get anything better. That's way too risky. And I could fit this without losing any hit points, basically. <sighs> but I don't really like that one. So I think, sadly, I'm going to leave those behind, even after spending a reroll. Uh, we're going to remember that we left it behind just in case we both get a chance to swap out our talent another time or two and find the war drum, uh, in which case having more unique... Uh, once again, the arrow missed me due to my disattunement. Um, or having more unique relics in your inventory would end up creating a huge bonus in terms of overall damage. But right now, that seems like a very unlikely outcome. Ah. Uh, still not great at avoiding the spikes in the ceiling there. As you can see. Um, guess what? You can't hit me through the wall, but I can hit you. Now you've become invincible for a bit, so I better probably do some of this in order to get rid of some projectiles. 
and then finish you off. Can I shoot through the wall here? I think not quite. So let's go ahead and let these arrows go by. Then we'll deal with you. And then we'll deal with the Bloodfish. Hello, Bloodfish. Goodbye, Bloodfish. Can't say that it was nice knowing you. A, because I didn't know you, and B, because it wasn't nice. You were shooting little thingies at me. That's not nice at all. This could be a apple, perhaps. Instead, it's a war room, which has nothing for me. All right, what is next on the agenda? Oh boy. Got some nightmares shooting thingies at me. Don't have to worry about chimneys anymore because we found our uh, chimney secret. Hey, I actually did it. You really have to press the buttons in very quick succession to do that successfully. It's like, jump dash! With like, no time in between. Alright, what do we have over here? Um, there is a chest up high somewhere. Yeah, and this is the way back. And this is the way up to it. Great. Um, I can just go out here. I've got another spin dash. Spin dash? I don't even know what I was trying to say there. Apparently I was trying to say spin dash, which doesn't really make any sense. Yeah, I kind of thought that was going to happen. And that was just foolishness. Alright, and that was also kind of intentional, just because I wanted to kill that guy. I didn't see another way to do it. <laughs> Bloodfish, you must die. Sentry, you too. Is there anything below me? Just water. I don't think there's anything up top. I've already found the secret in the gatehouse. Uh, so at this point... Um, yeah, let's do Kerguelian Plateau. We're standing right here. I will once again leave the furniture, because I don't think we're at much risk. We're just a little bit below maximum health. So in case we need it later, we'll be able to come back to it. But let's see if we can uncover any more relics or apples or good things over here. Weapon choices, etc. And yeah, there isn't much in the way of rhyme or reason in terms of how I'm choosing to traverse. Ha 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 ha! Traverse this area, just hoping for good stuff. I wonder, I think it might be possible for the apple to say that it's gonna like cost more than your maximum HP. Um, and if that happens, like would it just kill you if you ate the apple that increases your maximum HP? I don't intend to try that anytime soon, but I am curious what the outcome would be. Right, you can't be a Mimic because I'm no longer in the Mimic Zone. Okay, but well, we've already increased our maximum HP somewhat from coming in here. That's super terrific. And let's see what kind of relic we're looking at down here. It's just that Vanguard banner again. Which I'm still not too interested in. Not this resolve count, anyway. Uh, what are you? Your stufels and your explosive. Got it. But you didn't get a chance to explode on me. And instead I killed you and took your money. So good for me. Not so good for him. Don't think there's any um, undead monsters coming out of the ground in this one. And if I'm careful... I can get this without having to do super duper parkour. So I will be careful. Speaking of parkour. Nah. I was going to be so impressed with myself, and then I wasn't. Uh, poor Warg. He just fell on some spikes. It was kind of him to point out the spikes for me so that I'll be less likely to fall on them, though. So that was very kind. We'll come back through there on the way back, I think. Uh, you're also explosive, so you're the same guy we just saw. But now I know exactly how to deal with you. Since I just did so moments ago. Uh, this looks like a place where I just dash, dash, dash. 
And the way back, I also dash, dash, dash. So good job with the dashing. And not so good job for the warg. Can't say that, that was the smartest move he ever made. But they are kind of silly little pups. Alright. Poor doggies. Tried to lunge at me. Didn't work out for him. This looks like a place... Ah, it looks like a place, because there's a place up here. Got it. Um, there could be a relic of interest up here, so let's take a look. Boing! Ivy Canopy every time you do an aerial recovery. I also don't love that one. Once again, it's the right price. Uh, considering I could just about fit that in my current resolve. Um, and... Let's go ahead and get this before we transition over to the other side. There we go. Don't see any cracks in the walls. Not sure all the possible room layouts where the cracks might appear. And it looks like we'd already been in that room, so let's try going to this room. Uh, I don't like you. Willow. But I did successfully deal with you, so that's good. Um, yikes, okay, there's my disattunement once again. Preventing me from taking one bit of damage that I would have taken. But not the second. But yeah, I definitely would have taken some fireballs there that I didn't end up taking. Oh boy, okay. That, however, was a nice sweeping attack. That came all the way across my body. And ensured that I was going to take the damage. So, good job, Aqua Scepter. You did the thing. Um, I am going to break this furniture, and I'm also going to check out this room. Another Aqua Scepter. And instead, I managed to hit the Spiky Ball. Good job, Spectre. You did exactly what you were designed to do. Which is foil our hero. Are you going to jump? Yes. All right. Man, just catch you in midair. Bat you out of the sky like a cat would do with a bird. Uh, don't care to go over to the lore thingy over there. What do we have here? Skill crits could become super crits. It's the right price. And I can sometimes intentionally skill crit, although I've not really been trying to do that at all with this character, so I should really start trying to do that more often. I do see this guy. And the chicken leg I don't need, but the coins I do. <laughs> need them very badly. Want to buy all the things. Skill crit! Uh, that one's probably not a skill crit. Alright, you might take multiple spin kicks. Ouch, and it helps if I do the right sequence of button inputs in order to actually get the spin kicks to come out. That was a uh, pretty light chest, so far as the money count, so far as I could tell there. I'm disappointed. Alright, but we did get a chicken leg to compensate us for the uh, damage we recently took. And I managed to strike that guy out of the sky. Once again, I think my disattunement kicked in there to help me out. Go, go, gadget, tiny hitbox. Alright, I don't see any risen here, and I don't see any cracks in the wall. I see the risen here. Is there going to be another one down below? Or are there only three enemies in this room? I guess just three. How about over here? We got furniture. And we have... Remind me what this one is? Burn, but it costs 52 resolve. And I'm already below 100 resolve. So, sadly, not going to happen. Oh boy. Uh, let's do that. There we go. What do we have over here? Uh, this room is kind of a long way just to get to a chest, but you can just fall down quickly. It's actually... it's not so bad. Now... We've cleared most of the place. I don't know that I feel like walking back to the right. So I think what we'll do now is... We've got a fair amount of health, so I feel good going into Pish and Dry Lake um, at 461 with all this armor. 
So let's see if we can pull some good money out of there. And perhaps find a chance to get some more blessings. And then we'll just kind of go from there. Okay, so. Just traverse all the possible places to go. And do try to start thinking about skill kits. Because that's one way that I could prove my play of this, my favorite class, the Roman. And yeah, could help me do better in the future. In the meantime though, yeah, attunement, like I'm playing slightly more aggressively and it's mostly working out great. Um, yeah, look at that, like didn't take damage there and totally would have normally. Okay, you are getting poisoned, but you're in that uh, ragey state where you're invincible, I think. Okay, but then you died of the poison and so everything's fine. Got it? Um, let's just go ahead and blow that stuff up so that I don't have to think about it. And then dash! And then open the chest! And then dash away. Good stuff. What do we have down here? Bung! It's just a fun noise. I don't know that there's any reason to activate the tuning fork when I just plan to explore willy-nilly all around this place. But like I said, it's a fun noise. Uh, that blobfish is gonna do like some explosive attack or something? I'm not sure what he was up to. In any case, I'm down here now. And for whatever reason, I chose to dodge right into the enemy. Uh, that, not probably a good reason. Oh, uh, hello, risen guy. Yeah, you're still furious with the attacks and you still catch me off guard. And I'm actually a little bit low on health. So let's actually start playing a bit more carefully until we can either leech some health off of enough enemies, uh, get a chicken leg drop. I did just leave behind a coin, which I am a little bit sad about. Oh, we'll take circlet. I like that one, but it's just going to cost too much resolve. Uh, I see the other Risen over here. There we go. And I think those would be the only two enemies in this room. Thanks for a little bit of health from the Mana Potion. Um, I need to wait for you to spit your poison and then spin the Q. Uh, you're going to attack unless I beat you to the punch. Where in this case the punch is a Katana Strike. All right, good job executing the spin kick. Through another room and the health is climbing back up towards uh, good things again. And we even got leather weapon plus two, nice. All right, that was kind of unexpected, honestly. Um, jump, jump, jump up. Oh, I didn't get the third jump off. Do I have a third jump? One. Two, three, yeah, I do. Guess I just didn't press the button with the right timing or something there. Um, it turns out that that room with the relic with the voltaic circuit that I would have liked, but can't afford the resolve. There's a way to go down through this room. Boom. So let's do it. Oh, I picked up a coin from somewhere. Also, I became so invisible that I didn't see myself. And so as a result, I made a mistake and took some damage from a walnut. So the moral of the story is, make sure you know where your character is standing. Also, chicken leg. <laughs> That's a good moral, right? Chicken leg. It's the best moral of the story one's ever had. Uh, I'm going to choose to go down through here. Oh boy, I see you and you're going to jump at me. And you're going to jump at me again. Yeah. And I need to spin kick off you and now we've exited the room. Um, okay, so there's a pupil over there. Oh boy. Um, I might exit the room again, depending upon how things go. Uh, let's do that. Does that get rid of you? It does. Okay, we'll go in here and check out uh, what relic might be over here, just to know. Uh, this is a little bit scary to get through, though. I need to dash through that. And, oh boy. Also through this. And you were kind of a super dude. Also, I think there's not a relic in this room, which is what I was thinking earlier, so let's just get out of the room. I think that's not a bad choice. Alright, we're going to pretend that that was a super excellent dodge by me of the Sharite, and not just good luck 
in terms of thinking about the mushroom or whoever it was down there. Ash, I think was actually his name. I might have skill crit that one. Uh, poison might have finished you off, but I was happy to do it a little bit faster. Lest you come dashing at me. Uh, let's just let the poison finish you off, if it will. It will not. Okay, so this poison is underwhelming. That's what I'm learning. For the amount of hit points that these enemies have. Um, yeah, these just cost way too much. Let's think about this room. I can do it. Nice. Oh, I didn't see that guy coming, but dashing back at me, though. All right. Apart from the dash, I'm pleased with what I did there. Leather chest was too nice. All right. If we want super resolve builds, we will be able to get them, because we'll be able to get, like, tons of leather unity. It's nice to have options. Darn it. That would have been a good place to uh, Kotescu if I had Kotescu, but I don't have Kotescu anymore, so... That's how these things go. We're a little bit low on hit points again, so I need to be careful. I see Ash, dude, and he's... Oh, I hate those things. They do get blown up by my thingy, though, so that's good. And... Oh, boy. Okay. Blew up some more projectiles. Great. Uh, let's just spin kick you. And finish off with a kablam! Right in your face. And apparently that was the only chest there, and there's another exit up here. Uh, quickly, quickly take out enemies before they get a chance to attack. That is the advantage of being able to one-shot. That's why we pour so much of our manor upgrades into strength, strength, and more strength. Because if you can one-shot enemies, you basically take out, I don't know, not 90% of the difficulty, but some high percentage of the difficulty. Ouch. All right. This was not a room worth going into, I don't think. Um, there was a lot of risk to get over the one chest here. I should have looked at the map before I chose to do that. I think would have been a better choice than what I actually did. Uh, was there more to the right? There might have been. That's a very wide room. Look how wide this room is. It's ridiculous. Uh, speaking of ridiculous, these guys are ridiculous. Standing behind walls where they can't hit me, but I can hit them. What a foolish thing to do. Axe Forger. More like... I'm trying to come up with some good joke insult here, but I'm not coming up with one on the fly. Sorry. Uh, I see you. I still don't know exactly how they decide to come out. And that bothers me. Alright, what do we have up here? Uh, wait, I aimed in the wrong direction. I was meaning to do a diagonal upwards attack, like that one. And instead I did a horizontal attack, and as a result I completely mixed... Completely mixed. Completely missed the dude. And it was almost very bad. Alright, re-risen, taken down. This guy I can hit through the wall. Shock Edge was his name. I see this guy over here. And this time I got him. Defeat all enemies, lose no health. This is a small room, so it's going to be tight, so I don't think I want to do this right now, because my health is a little bit low. Any chance that we can find a chicken leg in here? That would be super great. I'd also take a pizza. Chicken leg! Great. Good enough. And we'll also break this mushroom. That gives me more confidence to go ahead and take on this room. Alright, good. Um, guess what? We did it. No problem at all. And from here... Uh, it looks like it'll be kind of a long way back, so I think I'm going to choose... to go elsewhere for a little bit. I have like 300 out of 400 and what health? Should I do some of Citadel Agartha? Um, yes. I choose to do a little bit more here in the Citadel. 